Hi, my name is Marcus. In this video, I will illustrate the active track feature of the DJI Mavic 3, and we're going to find out what happened to the Mavic 3 after it flew into this tree while following the 2019 Dodge Challenger. Before I show you what happened with the DJI Mavic 3 after it flew into this tree, let's take a look at what the DJI user manual has to say about use of the Mavic 3 around objects such as trees and wires. On this page of the user manual, it indicates that the vision systems cannot work properly in any of the following situations. And in section J, it indicates flying over obstacles with small surface areas, e.g. tree branches. So here it's indicating to us clearly don't fly the Mavic 3 around tree branches. In the focus track section of the user manual, it indicates do not use focus track in areas with people, animals, small or fine objects, and gives an example of tree branches or power lines. So once again, telling us don't fly your Mavic 3 around tree branches. In the landing protection section of the user manual, it indicates make sure you use a pass when the vision systems are available. Make sure there are no people, animals, objects with small surface areas, such as tree branches or objects with transparent surfaces, such as glass or water along the flight path. So again, don't fly your Mavic 3 around tree branches. In the flight environment requirements section, it once again indicates we should not be flying our Mavic 3 around objects such as high voltage power lines, trees, or bodies of water. And in the return to home section of the December 2021 DJI Mavic 3 user guide, it indicates be aware of small or fine objects such as tree branches or power lines. So once again, we're supposed to be very careful about flying around tree branches or power lines, even in a return to home situation where we have no control over the Mavic 3 if it's currently disconnected from the controller. So why are many of us flying our DJI Mavic 3 in focus track, active track, a pass, and using return to home when the flight path has trees or wires nearby? One reason might be many of us do not bother to read the product instructions. Another reason might be we have seen the DJI promotional videos showing the Mavic 3 using active track and obstacle avoidance around trees without issue. They're illustrating how wonderful active track is, and it seems like there's not a problem. It's so good you can fly it around trees, even trees with branches. Some people might decide to fly near trees after watching multiple Mavic 3 reviews where the Mavic 3 was flown through trees without any issue. And in those videos, the content creator might have mentioned how wonderful the obstacle avoidance is and how amazing it is and having no issue. Keep in mind those content creators, when they're creating that video, are making a decision to purposely risk their investment in their DJI Mavic 3 in order to show their viewers to what extremes will this Mavic 3 fly around objects without having a problem. The only way to know how good obstacle avoidance is, is to put it in precarious situations. And to do that, you need to be willing to risk your Mavic 3. Before making a decision to fly your Mavic 3 around trees and objects such as wires and small branches, make sure to check out various YouTube videos that the content creators posted after their initial reviews. There are a variety of YouTube videos of the Mavic 3 illustrating the content creator flew the Mavic 3 with obstacle avoidance enabled and the Mavic 3 ended up amongst tree branches because it did not see them or detect them. And then the Mavic 3 crashed either immediately or when they attempted to fly it out of the tree branches. As you saw in some of the prior clips, the Mavic 3 did successfully detect tree branches and flew around the branches of the tree. In other cases, the Mavic 3 just happened to fly straight down the middle of the road, so it did not need to make any last minute adjustments. But upcoming, we're going to find out what happens when the Mavic 3 meets another tree. It's going to be coming up in five four, three, two, one, tree. All right, we can see that it's detecting the tree once it's totally surrounded by the tree branches. What we're gonna do next is take a look at this in slow motion and look at the warning indicators on the Fly app. Do they indicate the detection of the tree prior to flying into the tree? 
So here we are, this is 50% speed. And that is the first point where it detects the tree branch. It's already inside of the tree branches. So there was no detection of the tree whatsoever by the Mavic 3 obstacle avoidance. And that can happen. Branches are hard to see. It also kind of depends on what's behind the tree. What is the camera and the vision system detecting behind the tree? I determined the best way to get the Mavic 3 out was to fly it to the left. And because of obstacle avoidance being enabled and active track still trying to track the car, the Mavic 3 barely would move even though I was pushing full left on the stick. It did not make any abrupt movements, but in retrospect, I think I should have disabled active track and also disabled obstacle avoidance. Then I could have flown it right out. There's a situation that I think could have occurred where as I was moving it to the left, if it saw some large object below, above, in front or back as a result of that, it might have made an abrupt movement in the opposite direction clipped another branch that it didn't see, and then fall into the ground. So those are my tips to you. Disable obstacle avoidance and disable active track in that situation. In this video here, we can see right in those branches is where the Mavic 3 was located. So this is the perspective that the Mavic 3 likely saw as it headed towards the tree. As you can see, those branches are pretty much invisible against the evergreens in the background. So I don't blame the Mavic 3 for flying to the branches. I don't think it's terrible software. I think the software is doing a wonderful job. But like any software, including that of the Skydio, there are limitations. The Mavic 3 is not going to 100% fly around wires or tree branches. That's just the way that it is in 2021. So I'd like this video to be a reminder that before you make a decision to fly your Mavic 3 around trees in a manual flight mode or using a flight track program, keep in mind the Mavic 3 in certain situations might not detect tree branches. And if it doesn't detect them, it could lead to a crash. Now, if you should ever end up in a situation like the one in this video where the drone is hovering inside of a tree but cannot get out on its own, I would suggest the following actions. First, stay calm and don't make any impulsive decisions. Two, disable active track. Three, disable obstacle avoidance. Four, switch to cinema mode or manually change the EXP settings to the lowest values in the DJI Fly app so you have more fine control over the sticks. And then number five, in a quick but not a hurried manner, look for an opening in the tree where you can just barely move the sticks and fly the drone out of the opening in the tree. The reason I suggest disabling of obstacle avoidance and active track is both of those modes potentially are going to counteract your movements of the sticks. So when you're caught up in the tree and the Mavic 3 is using obstacle avoidance or active track, even though you're moving the stick to the left, it is wanting to make a decision of its own. So you're basically kind of fighting what it wants to do. So even though you're moving it to the left, for example, it might detect a branch below it or above it and then immediately go forward or back or up or down, whatever direction, and that might lead it to flying itself into another branch and actually then crashing. So if there's a clear opening in the tree and you just need to move left, I think the safest thing is to not just hit the left stick, but first disable active track if it's enabled, disable obstacle avoidance, and then hit the left stick because then the drone's gonna fly straight out. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching the video. If you found any of the information helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider watching some of my other YouTube videos. I have a lot of content related to cars, like Corvettes and other cars at various car shows. So make sure to check those out and subscribe so you can see some of my future automotive and drone related and technology related videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.